In fact, there have been many studies that have been done that have shown the benefits of speaking things out loud. For example, there have been a number of studies that have shown that when you read out loud, those who read the words out loud have greater focus and greater retention of what it is that they are reading. Why? Because they're saying it out loud. They're hearing it three ways. They're thinking about it in their mind as they are seeing it. They are speaking it so they are communicating out. And then they are hearing it again. When we pray and we verbalize our needs, we are articulating them. We are expressing them and we are speaking them out into the air. This helps us to better understand what it is that we actually need. What it is that we actually feel. Sometimes we might think we feel a certain way. We might think we know how we feel. We might think we know what we need when it's just in our mind. But when we express it, when we have to articulate it, when we have to say it out loud, we realize that we didn't understand things as well as we thought we did. Perhaps you've had the experience of this where you said, that sounded differently in my mind. I know what I'm thinking, I just can't quite say it. And so in prayer, this is part of the purpose for prayer. It's to help us articulate our desires, our needs, our concerns, so that we better understand them. Prayer is for us. See, God doesn't need anything. God doesn't need us to pray. But he tells us to pray. He commands for us to pray for our benefit. What is it that is truly on our hearts? That's what we're expressing when we speak to God. This is really how I feel. This is really what is concerning me. And when we say these things aloud, when we communicate these things to God, that has a more profound effect than just keeping it inside our minds all the time. Prayer is also important because it connects us with the supernatural in a way that studying the scriptures and doing good works and even coming to church don't. This is where it can be very difficult for us because, again, we live in a very secular age. We live in an age that doesn't really understand things beyond what the natural realm contains, or as Kant would put it, beyond the phenomenal realm. But God is spirit. Although God has created this world and God is in this world, he interacts in this world, God is spirit. And so when we pray to the Lord... We are going to God. We are engaging in something that is beyond just what we can see and hear and touch and experience through our five senses. It is the purpose of prayer to bring us close to God. And it is the purpose of prayer to help us experience what we have believed by faith. What do I mean by this? When you pray for God to give you strength in a situation and then God gives you that strength, you have now experienced the grace of God in your life. God promises to sustain you. But when you pray for this and then God gives you what you need, now you have experienced, you have truly experienced that blessing. Believers, think back to a time when God has answered your prayers and you have seen how God has answered your prayers. You are now experiencing the grace of God in your life. When you pray for someone to get better and God heals that person and they get better, you have experienced God's grace in your life. We don't have this at the beginning of our walk with Christ. We hear all of these things. We believe these things. We have faith in them. But prayer helps us to experience it. When we pray, God, help me to grow in love for your word. And then we see how God works in us to provide a deeper love for him. We are now experiencing how God is fulfilling his promise to us. We taste and see that the Lord is good. Prayer is how we do that. And so if you're wondering, it just where is God in my life? I don't experience the Lord's grace. I don't experience the Lord's fullness. I would ask, your, ask you, how are you praying? What does your prayer life look like? Jesus himself says what? You do not have because you do not ask. Prayer is when we ask God. 
It is one of the ways that we experience the many blessings that God bestows upon us. And so as we grow in our prayer life, as we grow in asking God and bringing our concerns and bringing our needs before the Lord and confessing them to God, we experience more and more of the Lord in our life. This is why prayer is so important in the life of the believer because it is through prayer that many ways the believer experiences God in ways that he cannot through the scriptures in ways that he cannot with the collective body. Although as a church, we can feel this as well. When we pray as a church, we've all seen it here. When we've prayed for someone to get better and they get better. When we pray for someone to be saved and then they get saved. When we pray for God to bless our church and then God blesses our church. Our church then what? Experiences God's faithfulness. And so this is the importance of prayer.